hello and welcome to the Redhead Residence podcast. I'm Mr. Redhead. <laughs> Go on. Are you going to do it? Say it. Why? Go on. Who are you? What's your name? Mrs. Redhead. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why are you laughing so much? That's your name. It's not that funny. Your name's changed now. Fucking hell. <laughs> take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. If you hear any background noise, next door neighbours decided to have a rave in the garage whilst he's jet washing by the sounds of things. So you're just going to have to cope with a background noise. This episode is called As the Dust Settles. It's, it's cause, well, yeah, because the dust is settling now when it's really depressing. <laughs> but we're going to get on to that. So you may or may not know that me and Carrie got married um, at last weekend. And it was a magical, a magical day. Perfect day. One of the best days of my life. And I know what you're all sat there thinking. You sat there thinking, well, if I was getting a wedding video, why are you two sat there? <laughs> but the wedding video is coming, so you're going to be able to see every single aspect of the wedding. But it does take four to six weeks until... Four, well, six to eight. Maybe six to eight. Anyway, you'll probably get it for your Christmas present. <laughs> but as soon as we have got it, we will be posting that on here. But we thought... In, until then, we'll give you a rundown of the day, speak about it, because there is plenty to say. Um, I am trying to cling on to it with every single bit of um, grasp that I have. Um, that is another reason that we're going to speak about it today, isn't it, Carrie? Mm. I feel like Carrie's letting it go a tiny bit. Carrie's, like, letting the wedding go. And I keep, say, I keep coming up to her, going up to her in the house and saying to her, like... Ooh, like trying to speak about the wedding and she just wants to talk about not normal shit we've got a leak in our bedroom <laughs> woke this is our this is our life in a nutshell brought back to reality woke up this morning first day in our first morning in our own bed woke up with a freezing cold ice drip on, on our <laughs> forehead <laughs> didn't we the ceiling's leaking so i want to carry on talking about the wedding she wants to talk about getting roofers in and stuff like that <laughs> but yeah Night. Well, I know, I know <laughs> life goes on, but not this soon, God. I'm a bit annoyed at the guests. They've stopped texting me now. They've stopped texting me saying they had a good time. I was hoping it was... Sam, look, gross. He's on his phone. I'm like, what do you do? He's like, well, I'm, I'm just texting some people so that they will talk about it. Like, oh, thanks for come. I'm not hoping the door. Yeah. Then it's they will talk. It's because I just loved it. I loved the day. And I loved that everyone there had a real good time. Like, you could actually see that everyone had a real good time. But I want to hear about it. Like, <laughs> so I've been... I, I staggered my messages. <laughs> so rather than texting all the guests the day after and saying, thanks so much for being part of our day, it wouldn't be the same without you all that jazz. I, I text so many of them. I had a few convos. Waited another day, text a few more. <laughs> then then I text everybody. So I went round to my grandma Jean's. I thought, <laughs> she, grandma Jean likes to talk. I'll be able to get some out of her. <laughs> so when I went there, I spoke about it a bit and then it died off. She tried she tried talking about something else. <laughs> so then I started saying to her, uh, like, oh, so what was your favourite part then? Try to drag it back up. But it is because I just absolutely, I absolutely loved it. I think it was like... It was everything that I imagined it to be and more. Yeah, it was amazing. It was, wasn't it? Mm. Everything like went to plan, which was a big shock. <laughs> well, it did really, didn't it? I, I've, I thought there was going to be like, maybe, I thought we might have got a couple of guests on the day so they can't make it. Mm. No, no idea who, but you just hear that happening a lot, don't you? That didn't happen, which was amazing. And our wedding was a bit out of the way as it well. It did happen. No, but it didn't happen like on the day. Yeah, it did. Who? My oh, your grand. grand. Well, yeah, your grand. No, oh. but I mean, but I mean, just before we get onto that, I mean, people who, you know, like had a, like excuse, like oh, I feel a bit poorly. Uh -huh. Like your grand's was totally different. That was 
I'll let you say about your grand what happened with your grand because I can't really talk about that because I feel like it's awful. <laughs> no, it is. It's really, really sad for someone so at her age who, who lives the life. No, but for someone at her age who lives the life that she does and she was looking forward to it so much to miss out on it for something that will not even her fault. Uh, no. It's like she'd been unwell. She had, had good yeah, she'd been unwell in the weeks building up to it and she pushed through all that. And was like raring to go for it on a oh, birthday. Oh, on a birthday. And um she has a stair lift, doesn't she? Yeah. And the stair lift one she got in the stair lift ready was to come down. That's the head. saddest part. <laughs> that is the saddest part that she had a fascinator in her head. <laughs> and the stair lift won't come down the stairs. Mm. And they rang the company to try and get the company out to get her there. And she still couldn't get there. I think that is so sad to just get out, of it, knowing that you was well enough for it on your birthday. To and have to just go back to a room is so oh, sad. Dear. I know, but it is. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? It's like what the the uh, this is why I said the one of them. I was excited. We had a videographer now. So, uh, we had a videographer, so we could look back on the wedding and see it all and that is still the case because the day went like a flash like people people i did that as if i was going to click and didn't so i did a late click people were saying how quick it would go and to enjoy it and we did didn't we like yeah during the day we made sure we had loads of time we spent nearly all the day together even if i went with carrie after about five minutes i'd think right i'm gonna go find her and Stuff like that, and we did take it all in and took the advice. But how quick it went, it was just unbelievable. Like to think that we're nearly, we're over a week since we got married, when this gets posted. Oh. Um, what day is it today? Thursday now, so it's nearly a week already. Anyway, and that that them days have just gone. But yeah, the main reason now that I'm glad we got the videographer in for our own purposes, it's for. So your grand can watch it back, and I know it's never going to be the same. No, it's more. But the the videography, is, the video is dedicated to your grand. Yeah, this for you. Grand. This is for your grand. So at least she will get a part of it. And we sent her a little video message, didn't we, on the day when we after we'd got married? It was literally the first thing that we did. So hopefully that brought her a bit of comfort and stuff. But yeah, that is that was really sad. But that you'll be glad to know that was the only sad part about yeah. the day. And the rest did go perfectly well. Everyone turned up, including the people working there. <laughs> Everyone just made... All the people who worked there... I don't mean the staff at the venue, by the way. I mean, yeah, like, right. yeah. like singers and stuff that we hired. But everyone made our day just so easy, didn't they? Mm. So they didn't... They didn't like come bother us it was like and we wouldn't have minded but everyone all everyone who worked there was literally just uh, only really spoke to us when we spoke to them didn't they yeah. they just kind of drifted around got the job done like it was just everything was like so well executed i thought yeah it was the sun it was it, it's been torrential rain all over the country for like two weeks straight and we got the only day where there was no rain there was rain. a bit of spitting no, but it's not one like it was yesterday or the no, day before there but was a rain. tiny bit of rain but it didn't cause us any no, it in was hindrance that. did it and that was so how sad the, in the courtyard and everyone was like oh, come in it's rain and i was like the ceremony is done now yeah, it's no. done matter. we're ready to party now as, um, but yeah, and when we went to get our photos straight after the ceremony, we did this tunnel thing. We did a confetti tunnel. Yeah. And as we got to the end of the confetti tunnel, the sun just like shot through the the clouds. Like, And all of our photos was taken in bright sunshine, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Which I think is like, I think that's amazing. Because that was so lucky. I'm just so excited to get our photos because our photos are obviously the same as the um video it takes a while to get them all yeah but so i hope you're not getting bored of the wedding content because we've got tons and tons of videos left to post we've got all the photos to post and everything because mm. there'll be a lot of them but yeah the, it was it was just a perfect day carrie was 
you why don't you speak about your morning like as you were saying how calm you surprised yourself at how calm you was and stuff yeah i was shocked like how calm that was i thought that i would be like stress behind the leaf and like rushing round and all of that but i was so chill mm. like so chill the music wouldn't work didn't matter like hindi was fed up so I had about 100 centrums didn't matter she finished my toenails <coughs> And half of my fault <laughs> before I went down. Before I walked the hall, she um she laid on the floor outside and was like pulling her hair, her bottles out and took her corsage off and mm. shoes and was like, I'm not going down. I was still just like, okay. I think I'm figuring a, there's a bit of a pattern there. It seems like Indy was the problem of that morning. Are you sure she didn't cut the wire to the music player? <laughs> but oh, I think that is the best way to. Just like no, it point. was a long day for her because in the morning, as soon as I woke up with the her, the worst thing was that she wanted to come to you, and you won't let her. No, it wasn't that I won't let her. Because you won her surprise. No, I I did I I let her came, come up. Cause she wanted to show me her hair but i did want it to be like a, i did want it to be a surprise plus i was getting ready on my own upstairs and there was about eight adults downstairs no, well me and my dad but my dad mm. doesn't help me get ready does he so i'm just getting ready on my i'm quickly getting ready Think that when the fifth day come how you will all see saw him do your buttons oh shit, yeah he did dad. put my cufflink on yeah help me put my jacket on yeah you are right but there was a lot more adults downstairs so, and me and my dad was getting ready and going straight out, aren't we? We had things to do. Me and my dad was uh, parole, patrolling the area and um, chatting to people and stuff. <laughs> One of the funny things is... What was everyone laughing at? What, when you came into the ceremony? Yeah. Because they'd said that... Um, the, the The registrar said that she wanted she said she thinks it's best that because me and you were sitting down at the ceremony that all the guests stayed sat down right and i didn't i didn't really know what which one you wanted so i just kind of agreed to it but anyway when the registrar first says like the words um could we please now welcome in the bride and the bridal party or whatever she says um everyone naturally at weddings stands up and everyone started standing up and the registrar was like, oh, everyone down, everyone down. <laughs> it's like we was all ducking for cover, like there was a bomb going off. And um, so everyone was just laughing at that. And then that's when you you obviously, the, the girls came in and you came in. I didn't think it was happening as it happened though. I thought the girls was, like at my sister's wedding, I thought the girls was coming was. down first. Oh, so that's why you came in all together, because yeah. Indy, Indy wasn't having that either. No. God, you'd have thought it was our wedding, wouldn't you? God she, knows she what she'd be like on our wedding. The, so, the song was like, uh, do, 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 that one. And then he, like, mix in to, um... Do, 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 do. That. Uh, do you know so what? The kids was men walk down the full do 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 do. Uh, yeah, yeah. They must men have that full song, and then when he goes in, she next win. Half us men come in. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. But because she wouldn't. But we all. And to just come in. in. They all come in like a big group. Just next win because. Hindi was laid the floor, go, no! <laughs> was like, get up! <laughs> it was awful. I am, um, that song is, that song choice we found was so good though. That, because that, Shania Twain still the one, is like one of my favourite songs. I literally love it whenever I hear it. I don't know if it's because like my mum used to play it when I was younger or something as well, I don't know, but I've always liked it. And Carrie found a, uh, a version on YouTube, a wedding version, where it is like what Carrie said, so it's here comes the bride <laughs> on the piano, and then it, like, there's a key where it drops, 
and then does like a and it comes into that one it's just amazing and carrie's best friend sang her down the aisle and my dad play their music yeah and the piano that we used was from carrie's dad so it, it all had like secret special meaning behind yeah. it all so the singer was a best friend and the her dad played the music to it so it was real it was real like meaningful wasn't it oh. and then when you came down I was crying, me, at the... Do you know, at the front, when you were waiting, I was waiting around, pacing around, and I kept just cry, thinking about things and crying. I, my eyes just kept filling up. So I kept having to look, and I kept looking at this light to distract myself, and the light was the one that saved me. But um, I did, it was so weird, because I always knew that that part where I'm waiting around would be the way that stressed me out the most, because I can't stay still and stuff. And... Everyone could tell how uneasy I was because I was like, I kept doing this thing where I was like fiddling with one watch to distract myself. But then I kept thinking in my head, oh, I've been fiddling with a watch for too long now. I need to do something <laughs> else. So uh, on my hands, I've got these little lumps here at the bottom of every finger. So I was picking the dead skin off them. And then I realised that I was just leaving a, a pile of dead skin on the floor. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to stop picking the dead, <laughs> dead skin. So then I kept doing this because I remember when my mum and dad got married went before I was born. I used to watch the wedding video that back and my dad was always doing that. So I thought that must relieve a bit of stress. I was giving it a bit of one of them. Then I realised they had chewy in my gob. And I thought, oh, the chewy was, had zero taste. My mouth was drying up to death. And I thought, all I was thinking is I'm going to have to kiss Carrie and I'll have them white stretchy bits between my lips. So then I had to go to one of Carrie's mates in the in the crowd or whatever you call it. I had to spit the chewy out into her hand. I have no idea what she did with that. She probably stuck it under her chair. Uh, Tiana I spat it into her hand and then tripped off back as if nothing ever happened. She didn't care. She might have even stuck it in her gob. I didn't know where to put. I had nowhere to put it. I was stressing out. You bought me some polo mints. I, I forgot them. So yeah, um, it was a the, that bit was a very stressful <laughs> point for me. I was glad to just get you get you there and get you sat down, and then I don't know. I was getting a bit pissed off. We can't read at the altar though because I was sat holding her hands, like looking at her while the woman was talking. She didn't look at me once. She was just looking at the registrar. I was thinking, isn't this the part where we're meant to like look? I've not seen the script, but isn't this the part where you're meant you're to like look saying. at each other? Make your hawk, I know, but I was in the moment then. I were, I wasn't thinking about like being on TikTok and stuff. I was like, I was that was natural for me. You was just like looking at the woman. I kept tapping your knee. I was, I yeah, and then she was just acting up <laughs> on the ceremony. Like when she was acting, it was like she was just playing. When she was on stage, she was playing up to the crowd. She wasn't fucking bothered about me. <laughs> she said all the vows, and then she looks at the crowd, and she just went. <laughs> like real cock sure that she'd read it all of which I was proud about but she could have looked at me and like smiled or anything like that and stuff the ring on her leg yeah so <sighs> so the ceremony was good the, the I didn't really like the bit on the ceremony when we walked out so when we walked back down they the say uh, like Mr and Mrs Red had a leave in or some room <laughs> or whatever they say we walked out but I felt like that bit was a bit flat. Like, everyone was clapping when I watched the video back. But when I was walking it, I don't know if it's because I was doing the walk. I felt awkward. But it just seemed real quiet. And I thought that's when confetti would go everywhere. But it won. It was outside, wasn't it? I was thinking, why well, is no one throwing confetti? But, yeah, then we got outside, got a few pictures. And that's when we did the, the tunnel. And then we went straight off, didn't we? After the, the that. And got loads of photos and stuff. Because yeah. we wanted our photos to be snappy oh, we, we literally wanted to get some nice we, photos we together spent about 20 minutes mm. get pictures and the rest of the day we didn't get we just got like candid photos. yeah and that's what i'm excited to see because the photographer we said to sally who was lovely by the way she is sally's absolutely oh i can't wait to see the photos because i saw her laid on her belly What's laid on her belly on the grass doing all sorts of stuff tipple tails she was doing all sorts to get photos. Like the photos will be amazing, and it makes it more exciting because, cause we like we're obvious. I'm obviously excited to see the photos we got of us because we do like a good photo. But I'm excited to see all these the candid ones because we said for the rest of the day just go around do your thing, take them of people when they don't know, 
Um, if someone comes up to you and says, do you mind grabbing a photo of me and my mum or me and my sisters? Or like I did, because I grabbed my sisters together at some point. Then was like, just, that's fine, do that. But yeah, I just can't wait to see all yeah, the ones where people are just like, like too much stress like, of dragging like people. Of, like, like structured pictures. Mm. Because mm. for everyone else, it's so It is boring, isn't it? Boring. It is boring for them to be like that when when you have a ceremony, the ceremony is not the most exciting thing in yeah. the world. And then after that, everyone's there to enjoy your day and celebrate your day. So I feel like the the guests just wanna as a guest myself being to weddings, you wanna just like you don't mind getting a few, but you just wanna get to the bar don't you yeah. and start socializing and having a laugh and that's what we let them do and then after our photos we got welcomed with a luckily someone saved shaved, saved us a glass of uh, yeah. prosecco the, someone brought us a glass over and we, we had our first drink as a married couple and then it was more or less straight into the speeches and stuff wasn't it yeah it, it was, was like straight into the speeches but it was it was really, like our, what I think one of my favorite parts was like the whole, the, like it, it was good because the 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 speeches I enjoyed even though I found it hard I enjoyed making the speeches I have posted the speeches to our social media on TikTok so you can check them out there. Um, I was so excited to say to make the announcement about Esme changing her name. I'm a bit I'm I've, I'm a bit sad. Because I, I feel like I could have made your speech a bit more emotional. No. But I but but on the other but on the other hand and Carrie ain't really that type no. of person. So I said what I wanted to say about Carrie and what I mean what I mean, which is most important, and didn't make it too over the top. It was just like simplistic yeah, carries. I was glad that it won like too much yeah. but yeah because afterwards i was thinking could i have maybe made you because i feel like i put more effort into like the esme thing yeah, well, but well. but we are I, I was like really excited like you know how, how i feel about you i was more excited about like letting the room know about the good news we had about esme changing the name because for us that was actually that was like massive to have her to have her change her name because it would have bothered me I know it would have bothered me having. Well, it was both there in her. Yeah, she it was. She was. Brought her yeah, she kept asking and stuff, and we didn't ever think that it would be possible to do that, which like, like broke my heart because I, it we it was it, in my head I was thinking like I hope she don't think that I don't want her as a redhead because it's like literally massive. I, I I'm so happy that she is, but um. Yeah, the fact that that happened and was that's like one of the most memorable things of the day. I think it was a special, a special moment. I can't watch the video back though because I cry every time. Don't I every time I think I, I start sobbing about it because <laughs> it's just like how proud she was and and just how how well she spoke and stuff just blew me away. She it like she made the whole thing even more special, didn't she? By the way, she was acting. What is there and everything like that? I can see. I know, but I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I've cried every day. So this is the only day I haven't cried yet. <laughs> I've got to about dinner time, so I'm going to try and fight it off. <laughs> but yeah, the but the 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 fact the speeches was really good. My dad's speech was amazing. My dad always sets me off because my dad's quite an emotional person as well. So as soon as I hear my voice, yeah, no, when I look back at the big day here, when I go up and start walk. He goes like this to you. There's a part. There's a part of thingy. <laughs> my dad. Do you know when you walked down the aisle? I heard my dad when you stood up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him like he's like ugly crying behind me. Um, but yeah, my dad's like a real emotional person. My dad's like I'm really really close to my dad. Well, I'm clo really close to both parents, but um, I don't know. Like since last couple of years i've I, i've i spend loads of time with my dad i always like speak to him about about things like his speech was his speech is always amazing because i care for him, like my parents so much and i have such a good bond with them whenever i see either of them like crying or something i just cry immediately that's what like me and my sisters are like in it and there was a part of my dad's speech where he's it was like something like 
I'm so proud to call you my son, but even more proud that I can call you my best mate. But when he said best mate, his voice cracks and I was just sobbing at this point. But yeah, he, his speech was like really, really nice. Um, and so the fact that we had good speeches, amazing food. Amazing food. food. Amazing oh, food. Every single person. Complimented the food. food. Yeah. Not one person didn't tell us. Mm. You know, like, it's just part of the day. Yeah, it? yeah. Like, you don't really say, oh, the food was nice. Every person was that like, I yeah. Spoke to was like, well, I've seen loads of people, food. I've seen loads of people take photos of it and stuff like that. And, um, so the fact that we had great speeches, great food, and we did, we'll talk about the food again in a sec, but we did guest bags as well for everyone, Aww. which everybody loved. But first, the food. We was approached by two random people, weren't we? We was approached by two random people who had seen our TikTok videos months and months ago, who basically said we'd love to do your wedding food for you, didn't they? Hmm. Um, and it was Matt, Matt and Holly Healy. So Matt is a uh, Michelin star chef and he's been, he was a finalist on Master Chef and so on. And we was like, this is too good to be true. We was paranoid free. Yeah, but we, we was, was paranoid because so we, like, we was like, what if it's just, they're just trying to, maybe they're just trying to do it <laughs> so they can get us to our wedding day and then say, no, we're not coming. Ha, we hate you really. But we're also being real paranoid, aren't we? And they, but we did, no, but them. yeah, but this is all before we met them. But we we had a FaceTime with them the same night they reached out and we explained, we was honest with them, weren't we? Yeah. Like saying we was we are paranoid because of like that, maybe that could happen. Because there is twisted people out there who do really weird things like that. I've heard about it. Um, anyway, we had this first time with them, and there's, I've literally, like, fell in, fell in love with the pair of them, like they, like us, the like us, yeah, the, no, but not like us, the ha, us, yeah, like every, we just, we, do you know when you just click with people, and it felt like we'd known them years, and after that, that wasn't the only good thing that they did for us. They like invited us to their restaurant to test food. The he had Matt had like a, an event on at a restaurant near us. They invited us, won't won't let us pay for it. There was like you're our guest. They've tre I feel like they've just like looked after us. It's not just that though. It's like the emotional support, like mm. the the full relationship that we have with them. It's like nothing that mm. I've ever had. It's it's. It blows my man. Like, the, like, Holly texts me and it's like she just knows. Mm, and she's weird, like, oh, are you okay today? And I'm like, <laughs> how did yeah. you know? I know. And, and the and way that they've spoke about, like, I don't know. Don't know. It's hard to explain, isn't it? But Matt's just like one of them people that everybody. If you don't like him, it's like a you problem. Yeah. Like the my dad spoke to him quite a lot. Obviously, on our wedding day, it was really busy. Yeah. It it was like it was it was so busy. Um, but my dad even was saying, "What a nice person!" Like you can just see it like beams through them both. But the fact that they went to the because their life in at all straightforward, they've got their own stuff going on, which is nothing yeah. to do with us. Where like for us to talk about. But they still made sure they yeah, they they stuck to the stuck yeah and, and they stuck to the prop and, and stuck to what they said they was gonna do, and we would have understood if they'd have said, yeah, "Look, we said we've got the lot going on." Yeah. Um, they have their own restaurant and all sorts, and they still they still did, and like it's like like one of them things where you know you've just gained, like, a friend for life, and it sounds silly because we've not even known them a year. But you're like yeah. with people like that, you just know that you was like meant to meet. So the food was amazing. I had cauliflower. We had the same meal to be fair. I, we had cauliflower cheese croquettes, beef sirloin for the main, a covered carrying gravy, 
by accident I was doing a video of us both fighting the ox pudding up all the way to Ada. I've got massive teeth and anyway so it's a wedding dressing gravy which she wasn't so happy about but I made it up to her when we snuck off after the meal <laughs> and then we had creme brulee for dessert another guest sad the other starters was barbecue pig's cheek um salmon. salmon other mains was wellington like a veggie wellington and chicken kiev did you see them chicken kievs yeah. god should have seen them so when matt wrote on the menu like fancy chicken kiev so i don't know i thought fancy chicken kiev would just be a normal chicken kiev with a bit of um like the do you know the fancy stuff he puts on green green shit <laughs> Te my uh, mum's partner Tony, mum's husband, showed me the Kievs. So there was like massive, like boulders, like two on the plate. It was looked unreal. So I'm going to try and tap Matt, Matt up to go try one of them at his restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the other desserts was chocolate fondant and the cheese and that. But I'm gutted because I didn't see, I hadn't seen the other two desserts on photos or anything. I never got to see it. So hopefully. Um, someone got a photo if there is anyone who came to our wedding watching this and you do have any photos because not many people have sent me photos or videos not from the day or the night anything. so please do if you have got anything send them our way because we want to see all of your photos and videos and stuff but yeah it was it was that part of the day was so special <laughs> and I'll back, I'll back onto the guest bags we did so we did yeah. rather than we wanted to show our guests how much the day was like about them being there like it really did everyone there yeah meant... everything that we planned was about the guest joyment yeah like the seeing plans which are so free if you watch and you was sat near hefni on for hours and hours and hours we tried to think about Everything. who gets on who and yeah. all of them. I think ad adults are adults though, at, the, at the end of the day. Yeah. You sit but where you sat. I'm saying is we put a lot of effort into making sure it was perfect, didn't we? And for they get and like the their furs, we didn't get all of them furs because mm. for they guess sorry, they would just be left. And the and the one we went with was the one that worked best. We couldn't find any other way, was could we? Mm. But. But every, but yeah, to show our appreciation, we give every guest. Obviously, you do wedding favors, but we did like big bags with each guest's name on. In every bag, had um, some people had gifts, gifts, because a lot of people helped us out on the build up to the wedding. Everyone had a card, handwritten, handwritten cards. They took us hours and hours. Yeah. They took us a full week about three four hours every night for mm -hmm. a full week was up till about two in the morning writing cards um but everyone was handwritten because every guest has played a massive part in our life whether it be mine or carries or both of ours aren't they so we left we we put a lot of effort into these cards and everyone was sobbing at the cards like I didn't realise it had I didn't realise it'd have such an emotional effect. I knew that it'd be nice I knew that people would appreciate them and, and they'd enjoy reading it because I'd enjoy something like that. But everyone was crying. Everyone was coming up to me, like, referencing to what had been said in the cards, like saying, I don't know, it means a lot that you wrote that and I'm happy that I know you feel that way. Like, you could set that, that which was your, your idea, that was a really, really, like, good touch to the day. <clears throat> So well done, carry on that one. In the bags they had some bee seeds. Did these are the bee seeds, and everyone got a bee seeds in there. Everyone got um a bag of his sweets, which was my favourite sweets. My favourite sweets are brains and psychedelic mice, unreal. And yours are the fizzy bubblegum bottles. So they got his and hair packs of sweets. There was from sweet as there was from sweet as you like which are a whole company who kindly, they kindly kitted us out with a load of Goo Goos, didn't they? And they kitted us out for us. We had a sweet table and we said, could we, could you get they're us? They're a nice couple. Yeah, they're another amazing couple. I went to play, I've like become friends with Lewis. I went to play golf with him the other week, didn't I? Um, 
they kitted out a sweet table for us and they went to massive lengths as well because mm. we said our colour scheme is black and white can you get us black and white sweets <laughs> which in easy um and they got us like toffee bonbons black jacks licorice swells mint imperials yeah. they went the extra mile for us as well and we've even been to their shop and they've like every time you go they won't let you they won't let you like get anything pay they're just like i oh, just fill that up you fill that up you're fine like, I don't go anymore because I feel like yeah. I do want to buy something, actually, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> but they're oh, amazing as well, sweet as you like. The oh, the newspaper was so special. Oh. So there's a company called The Crafty Lab. There's a company called The Crafty Lab. Who got, they reached out to us and said they'd love to do us some wedding newspapers. I'll check out how cool these are. So this is one of the spares. And they basically got in touch with us, sorry. They basically got in touch with us and asked for loads of information. Asked, submitted as much information as possible and they turned it into a newspaper. So there's a wedding day post, Joel and Carrie. If there's anyone who would is interested in reading the wedding day post, then we could maybe post a photo on our Instagram. Let us know in the comments if you do want to read this because I've been thinking like i wonder if people would want to read through it all but on on the wedding day post there's an order of the day here obviously this is the first photo me and carrie got together as a couple there's a little write-up about me and carrie inside and out which is really interesting for the guests there was some breaking news about esme's name change make Make man, it was the cheeky bit. Make man a fruity cider or cocktail. Carrie was Malibu or, or a vodka lemonade. You just drank Malibu, didn't you? Mm. Malibu all day. <laughs> and then loads. Oh, of... We did seem <laughs> to get a sponsor of our power. Yeah. Wanted a whistling victim slash volunteer to be busy while their love birds. Go on a honeymoon. A month long honeymoon. <laughs> no one has come forward for that. So maybe we'll post well, maybe we will post this back out to the family. They must have missed that segment. <laughs> then there was a did you know bit. A few a few of the did you knows. Our wedding day is exactly five years from the day we first All met. Alright, we don't need to read the full thing how. There's some real good things. And then on the back was like a fun work <laughs> bit. There's the weather forecast for the day. Find the guests. There was a bingo, a bingo game. A few guests. I saw a few of the guests doing that. But yeah, how how cool is that to leave in the guest bags for everybody? So yeah, it was that uh, that was amazing. We've actually decided that we're gonna convert this room into like a wedding podcast room because we've got so many like keepsakes from the wedding that are too good to get rid of like these sands so we're gonna we're gonna make this like a, a wedding mem memorabilia room because there's like so many things that would look so cool on the wall i think it's a nice idea don't you so we're gonna when we have some time which we don't have much of at the minute um we're gonna we're gonna kick this room out and change it all good idea that isn't it mm. so yeah after that oh, well, huh. Personalised glass in their bag. Oh, uh, yeah, everyone had a personalised glass. I wonder if everyone took their own. They must have done because there weren't many left over, was there? No. Do you know when I, when we did these bags? I I imagined. Flip flops. Oh, yeah, flip flops. Another really cool thing, which everyone seemed to have robbed. The mistress. No, the Mr. and Mrs. Blankets. Go, I didn't want left with them, huh? Carrie, Carrie personalise loads of black blankets say Mr and Mrs Redhead because a part of our venue which you'll see on the video was like a big courtyard and it's under shelter and there's loads of like real real like stylish furniture and that's where everyone was gathering drinking and stuff there's a massive there was a massive beautiful log fire which fired off a lot of heat but Carrie made blankets for all the guests to keep warm and stuff but yeah they must I think all the guests took them home with them but well, that gives me comfort because I can imagine them all like running to the taxis with it wrapped around them and stuff and then waking up with it at their house. So that's a, that is a nice thing. Um, but yeah, the, it, that that part of the day was just like special. I think it just had bits of everything. It was, had like laughter, 
happiness, emotion, just add, add everything. And you'll know Carrie, me and Carrie always had a plan of sneaking off, didn't we? We had a plan of sneaking off and we did. We snuck off and um, went back to the cottage. Well, we got a picture first from the Catholic church. Was that before we snuck off? Oh, was it? Yeah, so we had a caricaturist who, by the way, he drove from Swansea. So mm. he drove from Wales just to come to our wedding to do an hour caricature. But he was amazing, wasn't he? The pictures... Well, he, it was his job, though. Yeah, well, of, course, well, of course it was, but he still can say he's amazing. Just because <laughs> the whack, you can't... It, it's like saying not saying a singer's good. No, I didn't say that, but that, that's what they do. I know, but it still it's blows me away. It's like we're, even when electricians come to our house and, and do a <laughs> job that I think is real hard, I'm like, God, that is amazing that you can do that. I just find people's skills and talents in them and, like... Um, endearing but yeah he drew one of me and carrie drew one of indy and esme the tattooist got one mm. because we had a tattooist at our wedding but we'll get on to that and um yeah the it, loads of people was just getting like caricature pictures they're in the house at the minute so they're really but they're really good aren't they mm. so we'll have to show you them they'll be on the memorabilia room but we'll probably do a tour of the memorabilia room or something once we've got it all done in about 2025 <laughs> and but yeah and then after that me and carrie went back to the cottage just to uh get changed get changed i actually did the car you know, as you know i need help Car sorry carrie needs help getting changed so i happily assisted her with that <sighs> yeah he assisted you with that there was a big mirror there as well, which I was looking in, into every now and again. Was re I've got a really good vision of that. We should have really propped up a camera and set up some <laughs> kind of new venture because that, that could have sold... We could have made millions off that video. There was just something about it. The wedding day vibe, you know, the waistcoat ripped open and stuff. A few buttons unpopped. I just I just thought it was, that was a good part of the day. It's a good job we had that part of the day because when we got back, you weren't interested in, uh, in, in doing any rudies. You was just after... Um, Ripping up and all the cars, you greedy sod. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we went back, and then and then after that part of the day, which was which was enjoyable, we went to. It was our time to make our wedding entrance to the wedding party, and we decided not to have a first dance, didn't we? Mm. We which we 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 did we did give it some thought. And we tried to do a first dance and stuff, but it was just so... It, it, at the end of the day, we was doing it to try and do what you sh you're meant to do. Whereas it just wasn't for us. And it, we could have made it funny and stuff, but we just felt uncomfortable about it. And we thought, oh, on our wedding day, why should we feel uncomfortable? And we, we decided instead to make a, a big video... A, a video of like all clips of me and Carrie from being from five years ago to now and put the song that we was going to use as our first dance behind it, which was She Thinks She Needs Me by Andy Griggs, which is a really good country song. She thinks, she thinks I walk on the water. She thinks I've hung the moon. She tells me every morning that they don't make men like you. She didn't do any of that though. But anyway, the song was really good. And we played that song behind it and there was a certain part of the song where the video ended and the DJ said, Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Redhead. Then me and Carrie just roamed in. Didn't have a clue what to do, did Aww. we? So was I walked in for some reason, put my arms out like, Woo, I'm here. <laughs> and then Carrie's just like behind me, like, what the fuck shall I do? So she wheeled onto the dance floor and I was thinking, you can get off there because we are you not dancing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, because then I give you a kiss and then I realised there was loads more of the song left. So I was thinking, how do I kill a bit more time? So I give you a twirl. The twirl went quite quite well, to be fair. <laughs> apart from when they pulled half your hair out. And then and then there was still more of the song and I'd walked off. So then I came back in and give you another kiss. And then it, the song was still going. So I thought, oh, I'm fucking off. I'm off. So in the end, I just randomly went up to all the guests and started shaking their hands and hugging them. I think I bet they was thinking, what, what, why the fuck are you hugging us? We've been here all day. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. I left Carrie for dust. She was on her own. Don't know what you was doing. That was good. 
Yeah, it was it was awkward. <laughs> and then I only hugged about five guests and the song, the song stopped, so I just fucked off and, and fobbed everyone else. I thought, well, that's it now. I just fobbed it off after that. That was a bit of an awkward part of the day. <laughs> I don't know why. the worst part. I don't know why we, like, built this thing up where we had to do, like, a big walking and be like, wow! Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We shouldn't have even done that. was worse than the first dance. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have a cake, though. We didn't have a cake. I'm so glad, because I want to win that video. <laughs> like, call it some brats. Pretend we're all in that. <laughs> Joe, are you doing the knife thing? Sorry, did I take your jaw off? <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> that ain't for me. What is this in my top? What is that? It's itching me like crazy. It's been digging into me. <laughs> I, don't even, I thought it was a tag, but I think it was just a label. I don't know how I ripped it off with ease like that. And then, and then, I, and then, <laughs> everyone was, everyone was, everyone had had a drink down him at that point. DJ had come, the DJ had come. He was playing all his music, getting everyone up on the dance floor. The dance. Do you know what? At, at some weddings I've been at, I've realised <laughs> that. What's the matter with you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, my nose is itching. I've got a tash. <laughs> at some weddings I've been to, the. It's taken ages for people to get up on the dance floor. And this is another thing I liked about mine, because even though I didn't get up on the dance floor, because oh, I wasn't feeling it. But um, loads of people like were straight up on the dance floor just having a good time. Your wedding. At my wedding, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. There was a few songs where I got dragged up onto the dance floor and I stood there with my drink. And I felt so long and out of place. I was just stood there like boogieing. I had Indian arms at one point, so I was easily doing a spray, a swear. But then Mr. Brightside came on and I know all the words and my mates were singing it and they was like, oh, come over here. And I was like, jealousy. But I just felt so like, um, like stupid. There was a song where you were singing. I thought, oh, I'll have a dance with Carrie. So I went behind Carrie and just I just like hold on to and sing the words behind her, which is real awkward. I hate dancing so much. I can't dance. <laughs> then there was Drew at the other side, just shuffling. 50, 50 is 50. He's just shuffling, like giving her all this dancing. And I'm thinking, why well, can't I be like him? Instead of Flid. So, so yeah, it was it was a great night. Then <clears throat> we had <throat> yeah. So we we had a uh, Carrie's tattooist offered to come and tattoo for us at the wedding, which I thought was like the coolest idea ever, and I was so excited because I love getting tattoos. Carrie loves getting tattoos, and um, so so the idea of getting a. a joint tattoo on our wedding day was like a sick idea such a good idea what i wasn't prepared for was that half i thought he'd do our tattoos and everyone else would be like oh, i am not getting a tattoo on a wedding <laughs> day fucking hell everyone it, yeah. he had he, he couldn't even get everyone done who wanted doing because there was that many people who wanted them half the guests left with tattoos some of them left with our names like our names tattooed on them didn't they yeah. And he was real. He, he was he he. Your tattoo is such a nice person, isn't he? Yeah. He's so he, he's like just he's just a good la like a good laugh and a good person. You 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 just get everyone was just getting on with him. He just has good crack and every I don't know. He was just like a good person to have doing that because he was socialising and just like everyone. There was just like a really good vibe around his tattooing table, weren't they? Um. But yeah, it, it, that that was a really special part part about the day as well. I just thought it was a real good idea, and a lot of people said like how cool that mm. is because it's something totally different, isn't it? And at the back of the barn, we had a three sixty. Mm, three sixty photo booth. Big picture. We're gonna make a video for them guys because they just they just started up their business, and just wanted to come and like do it for us. Um, and they was real cool, weren't they? Like, there's a, you put the phone on the 360 thing, the phone spins around and gets, like, a video of you all the way around. Mm. But they uh, they came with, like, loads of props and stuff, didn't they? I didn't even see that money gun, Esme. They had, like, a no, money I gun. I saw, I saw the videos that sent us. Esme's got a money gun just firing $20 bills in the air. It's sick. But, yeah, they've got this. They did loads of good stuff. And we had, uh, like, hole in the wall. Fresh stone baked pizza. Yeah, that was the evening food, stone baked pizzas. But I was stuffed from, I was gutted. I was stuffed from the meal because 
because on the beef sirloin, you you couldn't you don't eat loads, do you? So you had some some of the beef, and then I took some. So I was stuffed, and I was gutted because these stone baked pizzas. Mm -hmm. Um, pizzas like probably my favourite meal. Like it's my favourite thing. I'm obsessed with pizzas, and there was them like proper Italian stone baked thin ones that just looked un unreal. And everyone was feasting on them. I did. I did actually ask the guy though. I said to him, "Can you box me up one?" Yeah, and they boxed yeah. it up. And yeah, because they boxed it up, and that's why it was in the cottage. Off, just no, off. no. I asked him to box it one up. I said, "When you, if you start running low, can you box one up for me to set back?" Because I was going to eat it on the night when we got back to the cottage, but I didn't. I ate it the next day at the apartment that we stayed in. So, um, so yeah, that was good. Another good thing I liked about the tattoos was that you. Another good idea from Carrie. She thought about the kids that was there, and she got loads of. Do you know the like tattoos that you apply? You put water on and stick them to you. You got them, but with our faces and stuff on, didn't you? Mm. So Indy got tattoo tattooed up as well, which was, was a good idea. But yeah, it was just like the just perfect the day. It was just like the perfect day, the perfect night. Like I, I, I that that day could not have gone any more. It couldn't have gone any any better. It couldn't have gone any better. And oh, what are you doing that for, dog? <laughs> then, <laughs> then um, it's on to like the. It's what are you laughing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you, what's going on? <laughs> I said that was. <laughs> you said that was Indy. A dick. A dick. <laughs> A knit? You said, what was a knit there? It wasn't a, it wasn't a knit, was it? Knit Satani? That was a fucking club hair. It's like you pulled out half your fucking... Half your head. But, um... Oh, really? Thought it's gone on the fucking floor now. I am messing about with your hair. You seen the pile of grated skin you've got under your reclining chair? You want to do some sweeping up, you? But, yeah... I think like now we've now we've spoke about the full day. There is a lot more to there is a lot more to the day that you're gonna see on the wedding video, and it will have a different kind of effect. Or I'm hoping it will you seeing it firsthand rather than as um, describing it. But I thought it was important for us to speak about it as well. Um, the only thing that there is to add, which I think is important to add, is no, but I, I, I Carrie tells me sorry. Carrie tells me off for being open about this part of the day. But when we got back to the room, we had... The staff had left the post box there with all our cards in. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody... Everyone makes out that they aren't, they aren't bothered about the cards and presents and stuff. And it's like, oh, we opened them a few days later. That didn't apply for me and Carrie. Because <laughs> when we got back to the cottage, our... We, we was going to go straight upstairs, do you know what I mean? But we'd done that a bit earlier on in the day, so we thought, oh, God, well, we can, we can leave that for an hour or so. <laughs> and we saw this ginormous post box, and we thought, we'll, go into, we'll open that up and see our cards. <laughs> and we'll see the messages in the cards. <laughs> anyway, post box was locked. It had a key. I don't know who had the key, but it was locked. And we won't get in it at uh, one o'clock in the morning. So luckily for me, I've got ginormous bendy hands and fingers. So at, half, at about one in the morning in our cottage, we had this post. I had it tipped upside down. My hand was deep in it. I thought, it'd be, I thought, to be honest, on the wedding night, it'd been deep somewhere else. But anyway, my hand's deep in this box box. And I'm raking all the cards out. <laughs> I got every card out, didn't we? And we sat and raided through all the cards and presents at about um, one in the morning. Didn't we? I had to banish a few people, uh, because why didn't I? I banished a few people. There was a few cards with just like, um, just well, there was no in it, a bit of dust in there. So I banished them straight away. I said, then I put them on the banish bar. They won't be coming to the next wedding. <laughs> we up, we up, yeah, tight bastards. We opened all the gifts. The we did get some really good gifts. To be honest, we did get some really good gifts, didn't we? Um, few people got banished for that. As you could tell, there was regifted cheeky bastards. <laughs> I'm only joking. We appreciate everything. <laughs> but we did think it, it it was a good laugh. It was a good laugh. We was literally we was literally sat there 
just everyone must everyone in the world must have been asleep and we're just like peasants just ripping through the cards and now all of the left in money will have fixed the roof oh uh, yeah and do you know do you know what the funniest part is because we'd had a drink the next morning we woke up and uh, all we saw was this big pile of money we saw a big pile of money but we had no idea who had sent what so so anyone who i'm sorry if you want to thank you but we have no idea what you've sent us because <laughs> we're just intoxicated we're just yeah. ripping it open but there was some like i say good messages in the cards <laughs> We are gonna we are gonna do an episode speaking about what happened after the wedding, um, oh. but I think an hour to start us off is enough. So we will do one about the honeymoon because we've got a lot to speak about in regards <laughs> to the honeymoon. We had we did have a two a, like a two day honeymoon, which was really nice, but there's a lot to speak about on that. So we'll we'll leave that for a separate episode. Um, but I just want to finish off while we're talking about the wedding by saying a few things about weddings so when we as soon as we people knew we were booking a wedding people like put the frighteners on you it's like when you have a baby and people like put the frighteners on you like oh said the hard work they change your life forever it was it's the same kind of thing you get that same thing with weddings oh it's so stressful and everybody puts this like massive thing on it like weddings are so stressful and you can't relax till after the day and all that and it it, that will probably put people off weddings mm. and it's stupid because unless you're doing one with a really short time period they're not actually that stressful to plan there's not that much to there's not actually that much to plan it's like making phone calls and and i, I just wanted to like put that out there for anyone who's thinking <laughs> to get married or they are about to start planning that don't put like this massive pressure on yourself like it's so stressful because it really isn't it's mm. not. You just you you just do things in the time, in in the order that you need to do them. Like your registrar, book your venue, arrange food, things at your venue that you want to have there. Your outfits. There's a lot to it, but if you do it step by step and make note of it, it's not actually that difficult. And I just feel like that's important to say. And another thing that I've I've, I've wanted to say since the wedding day i have been one who has even said this so when people have big big wedding i don't know if you can class ours as a big wedding but like uh, for us for us it was like a, a big yeah. a big bit of money to put forward yeah, for, for one day money. yeah for one day and in the past i have always said when I've heard people having weddings like that, oh God, you could go on 10 holidays for that. Or God, you, that would be a massive lump off your mortgage. Mm. And I, I admit, I have been one to say that. And I still do think that it, that is true. But having experienced that day, surrounded by people who love you and have enjoyed seeing you get married, you, can't, you, you honestly can't put a price on yeah, the feeling yeah. that that gives you. Because the feeling that has been in, like, both of us, because we've spoke about it over the last few days, is, like, it's, like, an, a magical, like, feeling. And I'm sure that it would be the same if it didn't have all the flash stuff. Yeah, of course. Do what you want to do. Yeah, that's the main and part. And if you have got the 50 grand or the 10 grand or the 100 grand, whatever it is... If you have got the means to spend that, spend that and don't let, what, don't let it be like, oh, yeah. you could have paid a mortgage. Yeah. Or, that's what we're trying to say is do what is right you, not mm. what don't you it. think should do. Don't let other, don't let other, don't let other people's opinions sway the way you yeah. want your day to be. Because the way, if you do it exactly the way that you want to have it, like we did, it can only be, it can only be perfect, can't it? No. And if other people don't want, like, 
the way that you would do. That's fine. That they can get married mm. and do the way they want. It's it literally it is your day. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And the only thing that matters is that you're there with the person you want to spend the rest of your life with and you both want like the same things mm -hmm. as long as you because when we was going into the wedding we did get really laid back about it because we was like listen you're going to be there i'm going to be there the registrar is going to be there yeah anything else that isn't there in terms of like oh singer might not turn up or anything like that then it's no it's no big deal is it like the day will still go ahead it will it will probably stress you out a bit but there's every 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 but venue has music just it. yeah Let just don't be so hard yeah, don't be too hard on probably. yourself and i'm really really jealous of anybody who is, is watching this thinking oh this will be us soon we're getting married soon because i'd do anything to live that day again and i'm happy to come and live yours if you want to invite me i want to be like a like a wedding attender if that's the thing I'd love to just go visit loads of weddings and just be in love and cry with you all. <laughs> but yeah, that was our wedding, 28th of October, 2023. And um, thank you for thank you for sitting and listening to it all. We love you all. It's been an, an um, I, feel, I feel like I'm just still in my bubble. I don't really want this episode to end because it means I'm drawing another line under something. But thank you so much for watching. If you've not seen any of the content we've posted about the wedding so far, check out our social media channels. We're on Instagram, redhead.residence. We're on TikTok, Redhead Residence. Carrie has got a blog where she's been writing um, about the wedding, stuff that I've been posted elsewhere, as always. Our website is www.justcarryon.co.uk, and it's Carrie as in spelt her name, C-A-R-R-I-E, not Carrie as in I'm carrying you. To bed. And now we're on Facebook. Oh yeah, and now we're on Facebook as well. And we've been posting videos on Facebook. So we've got a mini little following going on there. But um the Facebook is just the same, Redhead Residence, so check us out on there if you don't mind. Every single follower um literally counts. So yeah, we appreciate it all. Thank you again for watching and we will see you soon. <laughs>